Hello, everyone. My name is Megan Phillip, for those who don't know me. And I am honored and pleased to have been selected to speak to the experience of our graduating class, the class of 2023. Here we are. Now, everyone is looking much less stressed and a lot more clean than when I last saw you. Stressed in the halls waiting for our final, final exam. Uh, first, I must start by recognizing the faculty members, administration, and staff of Robson Hall for the way they have supported and facilitated our learning over these last few years. Thank you, Dean Jockelson, Associate Dean Schulz, um, MLSA Executive. I know everyone I'm mentioning has already been mentioned tonight. Some people stole some of my material, okay? <laughs> but finally, to the students in this room, and those who have taken their journeys elsewhere or whose journeys have changed paths. Thank you for making this experience unforgettable. So most of us here began our experience uh, in this law school journey in that fun year 2020, but all of us applied for and wanted to enter law school before that, you know. Uh, and of course, 2020 was a hard year for the world. It was a hard year, especially for the legal field, as the Vavilov judgment was like released really late December, so 2020 was just a super scramble. Um, but of course, the COVID-19 global pandemic also occurred, which enabled us to reach our collective destiny of last class to be accepted to law school before they knew the world was ending for real this time which is a mouthful, but it will be inscribed on our certificates next week. Yay! Most law students, though I won't speak for all, and don't worry, I'm not pointing any fingers, but a lot of you uh, would be described by your loved ones as someone who likes to be right. Am I <laughs> correct about that? Um, or rather, you may be incapable of being wrong at times. And sadly, for our loved ones, many of whom are in this room this evening, all law school has done is made us stronger. <laughs> and these same loved ones with whom none of us could have done any of this, just remember that much, they must be subjected to the one person in their life who already would have gotten on a soapbox, explaining their position at you when no one asked, uh, and now, they got a degree in arguing. It's just cruel. So I just want to warn, it's just caution to all, you know, all of us this evening, use your newly found skills with caution and save them for work. After my own acceptance to this program in uh, late 2020, I eagerly went and purchased a backpack from my favorite online retailer. I was so excited, there were so many compartments. Uh, and obviously, I didn't know what the future held. But, and none of us did. But we imagined the classes we would take, the friends we would make, and uh, for me, it was honestly, I was thinking a lot about the free food that would come with networking events. And that, that did happen. I, I did get that. The backpack showed up after lockdown. Uh, I thought it was going to be the perfect backpack to carry me on my law school experience, but instead it usually went hung, sad and empty on the wall, staring at me as a reminder of what could have been. But then began the monotony of law school from home, and of course, everyone did everything they could to have made our experience what it was, and truly, we are here today, we made it, so something went right. Uh, but, regardless of that, there is a mental marathon associated with doing a full day of Zoom meetings or Zoom classes. I think we can all acknowledge that. It, you know, so some of us do things to cope. Personally, I developed a slight obsession with looking at the backgrounds of those who identified as a cameras-on person, myself included. So whether it be your bedrooms or basements, I'll never forget the little backdrop I see to your face when I speak to you now, even in person. Ashley Fowood, I will never forget your cold, cold basement. And every time when I looked at you, I felt a shiver in my apartment miles away. Uh, although we were all spread apart, safe in our homes, 
uh, we still managed to find a way to connect with each other, whether that was through the AO2 Discord channel, the online game and bingo nights, or the other ways we managed to connect, which was honestly just group chats. Of course, this was due to necessity. We've been isolated from each other for most of this experience. This halt of life when we were expecting to soak up so much newness was jarring in ways that we may still not be aware of, simply because we don't know any differently. This is an important caveat about our experience. And during the first few networking events, practicing lawyers without fail would express dismay at what we were doing. They would say, I could have never done virtual law school. And the typical response from students was the pretty glazed over, <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Uh, which really meant I have no idea, what, no idea what I'm doing either right now. I don't know how I'm doing this. But we prevailed. In one of our very first classes in law school, a professor told us that we would have to be creative with the legal solutions that we seek. At the time, I didn't really know what this meant, so I would continue to use different color patterns, different fonts, font sizes in my outlines, trying to you know, garner that creativity. But as courses unfolded and I learned more about what the law really is, I began to understand this command in a different light. What I now believe it means is to look at legal problems with new and engaged perspectives. It is no secret that people were kept out of the administration of the legal profession for reasons of race, gender, and class until the last century. And considering how old this profession is, it's pretty recent. Therefore, our reasoning, our life experiences, and our perspectives are massively valuable, and we should never underestimate that. The aim of our careers is to achieve the best ways to serve our clients, whether our clients are corporations, the government, the public, or individuals. That's our duty as lawyers. However, we are also mandated to uphold justice, which can demand more of us. Justice demands that we use these perspectives through that creative legal reasoning to help those clients and best use the skills that we've slowly been developing over these last few years through the help of the wonderful people in this room tonight. It's a funny thing being on this side of a program like law, an education program that was previously so daunting and intimidating is somehow reasonable and familiar. When signing up for classes in my last year, I scrolled through the list of 1L classes and I chuckled at how scary it all seemed back then and how easy it seemed to me now. <laughs> so we can all do difficult things. We've proven that by being here in this room tonight and receiving our certificates next week. So when you go on to whatever endeavor is next for you, uh, just remember what the wise fifth year associates all without fail say at the networking events. I wish I had worried less in the early years of my career. Take that advice and take care of yourselves. You are all incredibly capable, so just believe that.